Okay, we're here in the back shop. I have my Appian Mega Flow rig set up, and we're going to attempt to make ice. So, first, I have a dry jar, and uh, I'm just going to see how far it'll pull down. My pump is a little bit cold, and it has at least one vacuum in it so that the oil is not clean per se. Okay, we have water in the jar, a couple ounces. We could actually start to see a little bit of ice forming on top. We're at about 3 minutes and 50 seconds in right now. And there's a little bit of ice. Well, I think we've proven we can make ice. All right, we're going to try to, I dumped out the ice and most of the water, so I'm trying to do a decent representation of moisture that might be in the line set and see if we can freeze this amount. I see a little bit of ice. A little bit of ice forming in the bottom. But again, our micron gauge is telling us that. It seems to have evaporated some of the residual moisture on the sides of the jar, but the larger uh, pools of water in the bottom have frozen. You notice right here that it's going out very slow. Okay. We still have ice. Almost stabilized here. If you can see right here, that is our leak rate. So it's kind of stabilized, where if you were to have an actual leak, it would continue to rise. And 
the ice is starting to melt as well. Let's see if you can see that. It's starting to melt. And as it started to melt, the leak rate increased. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm gonna bring it to atmosphere. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it back on, see if we can boil off this little bit of water that's still in there. Still have ice. It's a little bit left. Well, I think the moral of the story here is that you can create ice in a vacuum with your vacuum pump. So I think that is another reason to keep your line sets as dry as possible throughout the whole installation process. Alright guys, I had to bug out of there so I'm going to finish this in the van. Just had some final thoughts. Um, I think we've proved a couple of things. Uh, one that you can create ice when pulling a vacuum. And we proved that you can have ice present, moisture present, and be below 500 microns. But we've also noticed that the pull down rate when dry and when moist are drastically different. And also the the decay rate, the leak rate, when dry and when moisture is present is drastically different. So that is another reason for a quality micron gauge so you can see these things as they occur. So I'm not going to stop pulling fast vacuums because of this, um, because my micron gauge tells me what's going on. So again, Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. 
and I'll see you on the next one.